Can we give a huge round of applause to our first grand prize coach winner, Charlene Crowell, all the way from Alabama. Come on up here, Charlene. Come on up here, Charlene. Charlene, can I ask you a few questions, darling, while I have you here? Is that okay? I think what I'll do is I will, um, I'll do what I ask my guys to do. I'll take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll probably answer a few. First off, congratulations. Thank you for coming all the way in from Alabama. Second, there's a lot of coaches in this audience here tonight who have been doing this for a very long time. But when you see 40 years you've been at this, what motivates you to keep coming back to coaching? Children, kids, they don't go away. They multiply. <laughs> I have, um, there are some great grandkids that I know of. I started when I was 23, and I won't go ahead and tell you the rest. <laughs> but my hair will say for me. But I, I just love children. I've always been a tomboy. I thought I'd have to have my husband to help me get up here on the stage with these shoes on. I'm with you, sister. <laughs> I wear uh, tennis shoes most of the time. And being from small town Hertzboro, and what you see on the film is what you get. Hertzboro has fallen basically by the wayside, and there are children there. I see those kids needing as much assistance in growing up and going through life and learning life's challenges same as the kids in the inner cities, the big cities. We traveled to Grand Rapids, Michigan, two years ago to participate in the State Games of America. And the young man there on the video was saying that everybody thought, since we were from small town Alabama, that we would not win. And we are national champions. Oh, yes, you are. Congratulations on that as well. What, what advice would you lend to those in the audience, whether they're parents or coaches, it's one and the same in my mind as a parent. What advice would you lend to them if they're struggling in terms of staying positive with a child or maybe an athlete? I'm pretty much, um, I don't know what to say as far as the parents go, because the parents I deal with, um, in most instances have two jobs. So they don't see the kids half the time. And back in the day, everybody looked at it as the village. It took a village to raise a child. Um, the village is no longer there. So what I thought we would do is form a club so that there would be a village. The parents are basically straddle the fence. They cannot be in two places at one time. So when the kid comes home from school, he comes to the gym. And you saw our gym. That gym was built in 1948, uh, 1958. So it's not an official court, but our guys learn to play on that court and outside. We prepare to go to the state games of Alabama outside in skin and shirt. I'm sure coaches know what skin and shirt. <laughs> but uh, that's how we prepared to go to the sports games, uh, the state games of Alabama. So parents and where I'm from do what they can. And someone has to step in and usually that someone is 
me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I know. I know we could use a lot more Charlene's in our life. That's for sure. Uh, I, I would not. I would be remiss not to mention my husband, because he begged me sometimes. Please don't come up with another idea. <laughs> hey, should we should we tell them that you're like going on tour? Should we tell them about Monday, Charlene? Go on, tell them what you got, sister. You're a rock star. If it adds to the ratings, we are going on tour. and We should appear on Good Morning America. Oh. That's right. Robin Roberts saw this video, friend of PCA, and she said, I love Charlene, because Charlene does not give up on kids. And we love you as well. Congratulations, Charlene Crowell, our grand prize coach winner.